Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are tackling one of the most challenging aspects of vector art and that's drawing hyperrealistic hair in Adobe Illustrator. In this comprehensive tutorial, I will show you the exact techniques and tools I use to create stunning lifelike hair in Adobe Illustrator. By the end of this video, you will be equipped to add incredible depth and realism to your vector portraits. Let's jump right in. Before we dive into the tutorial, Let's go over the tools that we're going to use. And the first one is the selection tool. This tool aids in organizing your hair strands and adjusting their placement for a cohesive look. By precisely selecting and positioning each strand, you can ensure that the hair layers correctly, enhancing the overall realism. The second one is the pencil tool. With the pencil tool, you can draw detailed and flowing hair strands that mimic real hair. The flexibility of this tool allows you to create varied stroke width and directions, essential for realistic hair texture and movement. And the third one is the gradient tool. Gradients are key to creating lifelike hair. By blending multiple colors smoothly, the gradient tool allows you to depict how light and shadow play across the hair strands, adding depth and making the hair appear more three-dimensional. And the fourth one is the stroke tool. This tool allows for the fine tuning of each hair strand's appearance. The ability to modify strokes helps in creating realistic hair patterns and depths. By mastering these tools and techniques, you will be on your way to creating stunning realistic vector hair in Adobe Illustrator. The first thing we're going to do is to create a new layer. And we're going to place that layer on top of all other layers here. So we're going to rename this one as hair. Let's turn off the fill tool and then we make sure the stroke tool is on top. And then click on your pencil tool. Then now click on your gradient tool. If you don't see gradient on this panel, you can come to window and you'll see gradients here. Here, this one. So now click on this gradient slider like this. Okay, now what we do, we need to make sure the two sides of the gradient stops. So we need to make the both sides to be black. So we'll click on one side of the gradient stop and use the color picker here, which is the eyedropper tool, to pick the color of the beard here. And then we will also do the same on this side. We click on the gradient stop on this side. Then we pick the color on the beard using the eyedropper tool, which is the color picker. Uh, this one is in radial gradients. We need only the linear gradient, this one. And now we are going to place another gradient stop in between these two gradient stops here so you have a under this gradient slider and when you see this plus sign click to add a new gradient stop so we can make the location to be 50 percent which is in the middle here so we double click on this middle gradient stop like this and then we are going to make it a little bit a uh, little bit white not like a bright regular white just around here is good. Now we can lower the opacity of this uh, middle gradient stop. We have to make it 60% uh, is okay. And now we move the gradient sliders on top here close to the middle one. Like this. We move them closer a little bit like this. And then now when you grab your pencil tool and try to draw on the beard you see how they look you see this is really nice guys so you know hair is unpredictable so if you need a reference if you need to see how they exactly look on the uh, photo layer we have to turn off all this so you can see the photo layer you see how the beards look now we are going to draw directly on the photo layer so we will draw on the hair while we're seeing the, the actual photo we have to reduce the stroke weight to at least uh, 0 0.5 points. This one is good. So let's draw. So when you're drawing, you just draw like random S bends, guys. Not regular S, but reverse S bends. Or reverse S strokes like this. Sometimes you can align them or you can just draw them randomly. And if you're doing very many of them, later the shape will just come out on its own. But you have to align some of them. 
so they look like well here So this is how you draw hyper realistic hair in Adobe Illustrator. You can see how it came out guys. So dope. If you're getting value, please like the video. And if you have not subscribed to the channel so far, please do so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. If you had issues while drawing this hair, please let me know in the comment section below so I can address your issue in the upcoming tutorial. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.